Well, Jasmine, these no firearm signs are outside all of the entrances at the zoo, but one man says he doesn't think there's legal basis for them. And he says when he comes to the zoo, he plans on bringing his gun unless he gets some answers. Dozens of people marching through the streets of downtown carrying rifles and handguns, all in support of open carry laws. We saw it last fall. Now the leader of that march is taking on the St. Louis Zoo. It's a person's choice to make. Uh, whether they choose to carry one in there or not. Jeffrey Smith spoke with me online from his home in Ohio, but he plans to visit the zoo in the coming weeks. That's when he does, problem. he'll be packing right. heat. Give me this case law or, or cite the statute that says that you have the ability to do to uh, post these signs. According to Missouri law, guns are prohibited in amusement parks, but Smith questions whether the zoo falls in that category. It's a zoo. It's not an amusement park. It, it is a it is a uh, zoological institution. You wouldn't have the same concern with a sign posted at Six Flags? Well, the, the, the difference is that the zoo is a public entity. The zoo tells me it's their position that all weapons are banned. But when I ask based on what statute, they wouldn't say. As for zoo visitors... You wouldn't want someone to come into a daycare with a gun, and there's a whole lot of kids out here, so... But I, would, I think in the, in the park area, but inside the zoo, I wouldn't think so. You should be able to carry a weapon if it's public property. Smith says he will bring his gun to the zoo unless he's given specific reason why he can't. The zoo tells me they're not going to speculate on what will happen if he does. Alexis Otos, News 4.